This Let's Play was supported by these awesome hobby companies. Hello everybody. Today we're going to be playing through a game of World War II dogfighting with Airflix from Dice Sports. Uh, so this is a dogfighting game with manual dexterity. It should be fun because I'm not particularly dexterous. No. I do notice you're not wearing your claws today. No, so, no. no, the claws are gone. I'm ready for this. Oh, yeah, I was told okay. that we were playing Airflix, so, you know. Yeah, well, but I'll probably still lose, you know. One way of doing it. <laughs> Up here, I have got um, my two fighters. So I've got a Messerschmitt 109, a Fockwolf, and a Messerschmitt 110, my large mm. bomber. And Free is using... Yep, I've got a Supermarine Spitfire. Mm-hmm. I have got a Hawker Hurricane, which is here, mm -hmm. and a Bolton Paul Defiant. Excellent. Eh? So this should prove to be brief, explosive, and possibly hilarious, yep. depending on how it goes. <laughs> um, it's very simple. We move alternate aircraft until everybody's moved. Yep. Then we do all our shooting simultaneously. Mm -hmm. uh, and then at the end, uh, somebody will have won. <laughs> Uh, and movement is done via the medium of flicking yes. your plane across the map of, of England's green and pleasant lands. Mm -hmm. Somewhere around Dover, I imagine. Yeah, uh, the water's not brown, so yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. Um, and there are a few bits and pieces on the um, map to pay attention to. So if I do this, actually. Ah, that's better. Mm -hmm. So this is a cloud bank. Anybody who's shooting into there will either lose one automatic damage if mm -hmm. they're close range or will lose one die from their uh, attacks. These little black spots with the white discs in them or the white targets in them are flak. Anybody who lands on a hex with one of those will automatically take one damage as they get hit by anti-aircraft. Mm -hmm. If you knock a plane off, you can take catastrophic damage, yep. which means you go away and they do a donut and come back in and, mm -hmm. in a following turn. And um, and if you just dink into a plane, uh, you'll take minor damage or major, depending on whether it's a friend or a foe. Yeah. You can mitigate that somewhat if people are up close and personal by asking your opponent to lift the plane and then flicking it underneath them. Mm -hmm. Game on, go. I think, yeah. yeah. So you are up first. You have got the uh, initiative. Okay. What plane am I going to go with first? So, you know what? I'm just going to take my Spitfire out. Mm -hmm. I'm going to need to come around here. And um, this is either going to be really good or really bad. Oh, Ooh. Okay. Okay. Oh. And we're going to do a bit Frisky. of a turn afterwards. No, because all, some, all movement happens, then all firing is afterwards. So, the thing is, is here, yes. I'm in the water and I'm also next to this and I'm split between certain hexes. Yes. Where do I go? Well, you just stay where you are. Yep. Um, if you are in an overlapping hex, you're just in an overlapping hex. Cool. It won't make a huge difference until you come to move out of it. You will take a damage for being yep. in some flak. Mm -hmm. um, so, so that my one... Spitfire is good, and then it will go up to... Well, you just knock the dial down ah. in this case. So you've not suffered minor or catastrophic. Yeah. But you need to decide where you're going to go because you either turn before you flick yep. or you flick and then you turn. I will not be there when the shooting phase comes. So I'm so. going to turn there. Controversial. Because mm -hmm, I want to get behind. Yeah, well, you know, it's one way of doing it. It's just a way of <laughs> I'm going to move uh, one of my fighters. So I'm going to go for my Messerschmitt and I'm going to go right down Main Street. <laughs> oh, Hi. Nice one. How's it going, lads? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I'm going to turn around. Okay. Because I assume you will not be there. Because they, they have to move. And if you only give them a little nudge so you don't move out of a hex, you take minor damage and you can't shoot as you pull back on the throttle and you're not going fast enough and you start to judder and shake and everything goes horribly wrong for you. So so what if I just do that? Yep. So because you won't have left the hex, yep. you won't be able to fire this turn and you'll take minor damage. Ooh. Which means you're not. it's not worth it. It's not worth it, it's is it? It's not worth it, no. Okay. Now, this, in this case, you can ask me to lift my plane and you can fire underneath. So you can fire underneath and then turn a 180 to fire back. 
Decisions, decisions. Yes. Can you lift your plane? I will lift my plane, yes. Okay. Let's not go off the board. Oh, no, not great. But... Set back down. And now you've got choices wherever they want to uh, deploy themselves. I don't want you behind me. <laughs> oh, you do. That plane is your um, Bolton. Yep. And your target is actually a tail gunner. So having it facing the other way makes more sense because you don't have a gun to the front. This one, not yes. my, but yeah. Yeah. So the little white dividing line shows that. So he's better off turned the other way. Okay. I'm confused here. I've put two and two. <laughs> but I could put stickers on to reorganise. That'd be great. Okay. Do you know what? That way. Yep. Yeah, well, that's your... your Target is from this point mm -hmm. all the way around the back to that point. So you've got a, a big rear arc and no front arc at all. That's good for me. Okay. And then my bolton. Yes. To go. I should probably move my mesh smith up as well. Go on. So I don't like people ganging up on me. <laughs> I'm going to go that way. Mm hmm. And then, actually, I actually don't think I need to turn. I think you're in arcs there anyway. Uh, I will turn a little bit though, just to make sure, doubly sure that I'm in arc. And I'm a bit blocked in here. Mm -hmm. So I haven't got anything over here. So I'm going to go, oh, I mean, not great, mm -hmm. but I'm cautious of this one, Jerry. He can fire. <laughs> he can fire forwards and backwards. If I could split the gap between you, I mean, in a <clears throat> lawn balls esque manner, yeah, I could fire in both directions. However, if I hit you, then you know, minor damage and it's no good. So you can turn around and yep. wait for me coming. Okay, yep. I see what you're doing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to attempt. <laughs> And attempt this. Oh, that was barely anything. That's, <laughs> that's not great. However, I will then turn in that direction. Okay. And that is all of our planes have manoeuvred. Yeah. So now it's firing time yep. since you have initiative. We're all simultaneous. Nobody will go down in flames before they get the chance to fire. Yeah. So do you want to do yours first? So we've got... This one to this one? Yep. So your firing arc is this V at the front. Mm -hmm. So are you within that arc? No. And you're not, unfortunately. So you've got out of that. Mm. And that's the same. No hope. This one, mm -hmm. I can. Yeah. So in that case, measuring to see whether you're within short or long. So I am in... Oh. I'm in long. Yep. Yep. You get a bonus die, um, or actually a bonus damage if you were within short range. Yep. In this case, you would just take whoever that is. Yep. So that's my three. Uh, that would be my hurricane. Yep. Yep. So whatever dice it has on the pilot board. So I have three dice. Yep. And you're just rolling those with no bonuses. Okay. See how many hits we're getting. Hmm. <gasps> One. One. One hit. One hit. Hiding under there. That's all right. So that's one hit into my Messerschmitt. Mm -hmm. So he's going to drop from six to five. And then I have my bolt in. Mm -hmm. Two dice. That's all to the rear. Oh. So, so, so that, now, he's in there. Just. But that's your fire arc, is this big sweep behind you. So that's just in there. Yep. Is he in here? Oh, yes. Oh, beautiful. Okay, well, so we've got... Well, the choice is which one are you going to go for? So you're on five on this one. I'm on five. Are you in range? No. So this one it is. Mm. Okay, two dice. That'll be another long shot, so no bonuses. One. One damage. Another one damage. And that is into my little fuck wolf. <laughs> so 
they go down as well. Mm -hmm. And that concludes your firing. I've just noticed. Um, flak in this area and flak in that area. So I've got damage. So number two should take two damage for flak. Number three, I think, is already taken. One, oh, wrong way. Four. Okay. Oh, dear. That was a bad place oh, to park. That wasn't a good one. No, I never parked there. No. So you didn't realise you could do so much damage on yourself just on the first turn. Well, you know. Because it's anyone's game. It, it really is, first. yeah. So I'm going to start with the Messerschmitt. So again, firing. You're in arc. Mm -hmm. so that's my arc there Swip to sweep. And you're not in short. So the Messerschmitt has three die. <gasps> And you are, no, you're not in clouds. You're very close to being in cloud cover there. One, one point of damage. You're down on three. Oh, you're smoking profusely mm, now. Not going so well. I imagine it's time in. for a pair of tin legs for that so, pilot. Yeah, I think so. Uh, my little fuck wolf. <laughs> so. Who we got? Oh, I'm in range. Straight down Main Street. And you're in range there. Mm -hmm. uh, Fuck Wolf has also three dice. Three hits, please. One hit, one hit. Nice. So I'll take it though. And that's on. Yep, my hurricane. Your yeah. Hawker Hurricane, yep. Five. And then that just leaves the big fellow, so the Messerschmitt BF110, who can fire two to the front and one to the rear. <laughs> However, there's only somebody in his front. Mm -hmm. But you are in short. <gasps> so, short range. Extra die. Short range, you get an extra die. Short range into the rear arc, you get... Oh, sorry, it's not an extra die, you get one damage automatically. Okay. Short into the back, you get two automatic damage. Nice. So in this case, I will be doing two dice. Plus one, so two damage to them. Three. And that. And that's how you play around. It's, it's the end of the first turn, yeah. Very simple. It is. It very much is. So now I'm looking at my... Yes, my now you're looking at your arcs. I'm just going to push these back to ready. Yep. Okay. So... And I believe you keep the initiative because we don't have an odd number of planes yet. If the player has the same number of planes remaining on the map, the initiative token moves to the player who currently does not have it. Oh, I get, I get initiative. Good job. If the player has a different number of planes, then it goes to the lower. Okay, so, so it passes back and forth. That's quite nice. Mm -hmm. Now, that is nice. The problem with that is, in the first turn, I knew where you were going. Oh, yeah, you're going to absolutely so, destroy me now, Joe. Well, now you're going to see where I'm going to be. Mm, it gives me an upper hand. Yeah, so I can't, I can't stay here because if I stay here... I'll take damage and won't be able to shoot. So I've got to move out. And I've got to try and predict where you're going to go. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to actually go up there. That's not bad. Nope. And then I'm going to turn that way and hope that there's still somebody in that fire arc when the, uh, the turn finishes. Front. Yeah. Okay. Not ideal. No. But what can you do? Mm -mm. You're off blind? It's, it's your go. Oh, yeah. yeah. Of course. It's okay. okay. Ooh, just stayed on. <laughs> just stayed on. Now you get to, you can turn it around in whatever direction you want. You know where my first plane is, so there's definitely going to be a target there, although probably too far probably away. Probably not going to reach. No. But I am safe. For now. <laughs> <laughs> um, see, this is hard because I don't know where you're going. So my line of sight is from the sides, isn't it? Uh, for that one, it's the rear. Yeah. So. So I'm going to just place this here. So yep. Anyone behind me? Sure. Is that all that... sounds fine. Yeah. That sounds tactical. <laughs> as, as tactical as a game of flicking planes around a map yes. can be. <laughs> um, okay. I am going to 
go in that direction. <gasps> oh, almost off. Oh, are you off. in that? Almost off. Are you in? Oh, I'm in, yeah, <gasps> no, don't worry. And then I'm going to turn down there. I think we're both in range of each other. Nice. But that's all right. No, that's fine. Yeah, I don't, I don't mind. One more plane. So that's my fuck wolf. Just okay. leaves my big measure smith to go. <sighs> no! Ooh, off table. No, <gasps> it doesn't mean it's gone for good. No. Uh, it just means you pop it on top of your card. Yep. And then you move that card down to show the red hand symbol. So it is available as a reinforcement. It's awaiting a chance to come in, but it's going to be a couple of turns before yep. it's ready to re, uh, re-engage the enemy, shall mm. we say. So that just leaves my big brutal <gasps> Messerschmitt BF110. Yeah. Ein, ein, I can't remember what zero is in German. Um, You've still got a plane to move, which is that one. Mm -hmm. So it makes sense if I try and stick it into him. Ooh. Yeah. Frisky. Mm. Now, if I pivot to there, that gives me the best of both worlds. Yeah, it does, because you're I'm, stopping this attack. Well, <sighs> I could definitely hit you. I've got a broad scope out the back, so it kind of forces you away, mm -hmm. far away. Who knows how that's going to go? So, my line of attack here is from the sides, isn't it? Uh, front for this one. So. Okay. This is a risky move. Mm hmm. Ooh. Certainly a risky move. Ooh. That, that is very frisky. <laughs> I'm, I'm being topped and tailed. Mm, I've already got uh, two planes on the board, Jerry. Yeah, but the good news is that we all get to fire and who yep. knows, we may all end up dead together. Yes. Nobody has managed to find any flak this turn. No. Kind of disappointed. Yeah, being yeah, kind of yeah, everything. yeah. Okay, um, since I have the initiative, I'll, I'll start the bidding this. Yep. And I'm going to start with my uh, Fock Wolf, who will be Ooh. at long range, mm -hmm. but he is in range. So three dice onto your, is that your Spitfire? Yeah. My Hurricane. Oh, your Hurricane. Oh, look alike to me. <laughs> oh, only one. But one point is better than none. That's fine. And then I'm going to go. So I've got one. I'm damaged. <gasps> I've got, I've got one more damage left on that, Jerry. You're not going to like this then. So Jerry's just going to take another one of my planes off board. So. So I'm at short range and I'm into your rear. So I will be automatically doing two damage to you, plus whatever I roll, which doesn't matter because you've only got two damage left. Yep. You will still get to fire back, so you've got a chance to, oh my God. Um, oh yeah, that's 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 great news, Jerry. Yeah, well, Thanks. they're definitely dead. So that's good. They are definitely dead. But uh, you will still get the fire back. I have another shot to the rear though. You do? And the problem here is you're going to do the same to me where you're going to be doing two automatic damage into the rear. Okay. But I'll try and put you off first. So who's number three? So number three is my Hurricane. This is my Defiant, my Bolton. So behind me, we have my uh, Hurricane. Hurricane. A hit plus one because of short range. Down so to two. Three. Down to three and we have one damage on this one, yeah? Or two damage. Well, I'm out. That one is out, so it's already dead. Luckily, I get some shooting in. Well, let me. I'll just finish off my last shooting. Oh, that's beautiful. That's that's stunning, Jerry. So, not in short range. I won't get any bonuses mm -mm. to shooting into you in short range, but I will get three dice straight into your back. Yep. Our survey says <laughs> two, two, two into the back of your. Hawker. Oh, we're going up in flames. Oh dear. We're going up in flames today, Jerry. Oh no, what a terrible, terrible shame. So a tragic accident. I can now. You get to do your shooting before I get removed. <laughs> so we've got here. That way. Well, that's, that's front and center. This one's rear. So that one's going in here. Yeah. Because it's 
front target. So we're going to take some damage on short range. Yeah. So, so we get an extra bit of damage there. Yeah. So you're going to do two additional damage to me mm -hmm. automatically, plus yeah. whatever you're firing, which for the hawker is three. 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 Yeah, it's the second one. Uh, so I've got two on this one. So that that makes the numbers wrong. Yeah. So it's three for that one. Yes, it's three for that one. So it's three. And then two extra damage. Uh, two extra. I mean... If you're lucky, you'll put five on it. Uh, the downside of that is one. So it has seven. Three damage. So three damage. It's not ideal for me in uh, the grand scheme of things, but I'm still, you know... You know, you're in a better place than I am, Jared. I'm on four. <laughs> Much better off than you. And we've got this dude over here. Yep. And this is going to be long range. So you could either go long range there or just fire straight back into that. And do some damage on your big boy. Mm. What's, what's he on? He's on five. I'm going to do some damage to the big boy. He's on four. You'll get two dice, but you're also short range. So you could do one automatically. Nice. So you could do three off the back of that. Well, no hit. So just one for you, Jerry. Oh dear. No. Well, you know. So this, I've had to turn now, so I can move this up one. Yep. Cool. Uh, in the end phase, that moves up one. And unfortunately, in the end phase, this one, who doesn't have any health left, he just He's crashes crashes and burns. Yep. Mm. There you go. I imagine is the noise it would make as it lands there. <laughs> that would. Yeah. Definitely base and buildings yeah. and, and, and a lot of fire. No. You get this initiative token then. I'm going to take this off the board. Because so you have least. less planes than me. Well, I have one plane, you so have, I'm going to be you have one completely plane. Yep. ganged up on right now. This um, is out, so... Yeah, you can just flip it over. Gone. So, sad times. It is. It's tragic, really, but, you know... Okay. The, the new was happening, the few, the many, all of that. <laughs> I mean, I think anything I do, you're, you're going you're gonna to kill me, Jerry. Um, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean. It's can you go down in a blaze of glory, as Bon Jovi once said. I believe they call him. Oh, for God. Oh, no. It's off, off the table as well. Oh, you, the reason you can't see it is it's way it's, it's gone. out here. It's, it's, it's flown totally. off the horizon, this one. It will go back into your reinforcements as well. Yeah. However, in the end phase, if you've no planes on the table, mm -mm. Uh, then your opponent will win. So I'll just do that, or then I'll do that, and I'll do that. And uh, none of them are flacked. Nope. And uh, victory. Victory. Victory to the Luftwaffe <laughs> as they take out parts of Devon and Kent. Yep. There you go. It's as simple as that. It, it is. Airflex. Uh, it's an interesting little game. It is really cool. It's uh, now that I've got the hang of it, mm. I know how earlier on is going to be more important. Yeah. Because I saw it as okay. It's an open field. We've still got to move. I can just put it where I want. Yeah. Oh no no no. No. So my first round is what uh, messed me up a little bit there. Yeah. But it's... Especially, I think having the initiative first is possibly detrimental. Well, I, I wouldn't agree. say it's detrimental, but. Your opponent knows where you're going to go. So unless you just decide to go short with your first yeah. and then draw them in and try and see where they're going and, and pick people off that way. But it's, it's a fascinating little game. And it's, it's really cool. It's, it's very quick to pick up, I will say yeah. that. Um, I like it. It's really cool. And again, oh, I had Blast playing this, flicking across the table. <laughs> I mean, I, I didn't even think I hit it that hard. <laughs> it does, weirdly, it does say in the book to clean the base, to make sure there's no grease or, or bits of flack or whatever on it, <laughs> to give you a good smooth pink across the yep. ground. Yep. Um, so, yeah. So that, that is Dice Sports Airflex yep. game. I think there's more coming from this because there's a couple of pictures of cards of planes that aren't in this little expo set. Um, so it's definitely one to watch. If you have any questions, drop them below. Um, John will answer them because this is John's set yeah. that we've stolen from him. We did. Uh, made him paint things <laughs> while we were doing this. 
He's not allowed to play games. No. Um, otherwise, let us know what you think of Airflix yeah. and of these sort of dexterous type of board games uh, because they certainly change things on their heads. Yeah, definitely. If you know of anything else that uses some kind of flicking mechanic, apart from Subutio, we know Subutio does it. Other games, yeah. Let us know. Yeah, for sure. But we're going to move on. Until then, bye bye. We hope you enjoyed this Let's Play. Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on. <laughs>